Okay, hi everyone. I know I'm churning out a shitload of videos for today for this one beta event, and this is all stuff I could probably fit in different events and probably have a higher quality, but shut up. So there we go. Um, so I, I decided to show you the character creation. Again, I got old footage of this, but I decided probably better create new stuff. Just, um, I don't know, just, just, it's, it's a lot easier to make videos while you're commenting at the time rather than going back and making it. I mean, going back and make, you know, taking the footage and then talking over it at a later date can help because then you can get a few more facts right and things like that and if you do the take wrong you can just delete it all that crap but I kinda like doing it like this it's kinda feels a bit more natural um, so anyway yeah, you can see that the Silvarian Asar Silvarian Asari? Hmm. Um, Asura not Asari what the hell am I thinking of? <laughs> Mass Effect what the fuck okay um, yeah they're not available yet of course um, most people know that so I'm just going to create a character, a human one. Uh, let's make it male. Actually, let's make it female. Otherwise, people will be like, "Oh, no, no. Um, So yeah. As you can see, you can be any class, which is awesome. All races can be any classes. More games need that. They really do. Anyway, um, engineer. Yeah, engineer looks alright. Okay. Let's be. Um, no, you know what? No, yeah, okay, I'll be a human. I was going to think I was, might be a char, because I haven't really shown any footage of being a char. Uh, let's, engineer could be cool. Yeah, let's choose engineer. Okay, so you see yeah, the, your basic like character's body size. Let's make a, just, yeah, a little bit lower than average. Physique. Um, getting spicy now. Um, <laughs> you need to hide the armor, really, to see the differences here. Ooh. Um, yeah, so you can have, like, horribly, horribly skinny, or whatever. Whatever your personal preference is. I'm just going to go with the standard one, because it seems the most normal. Clothe yourself, woman. Um, yeah, you get the standard hair choices, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, this is facial options, though. And you can edit these faces a lot more than just, you know, it's not like Guild Wars 1, where you pick a face and that's it. You can edit the faces, so we'll do. Uh, let's choose. Let's use that one. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, what does this? What does this do? I don't know what that. Oh, okay, that's skin color. Um, let's try and make a not too horribly pale. Yeah, that works. All right now, you got the hairstyle and the hair color. All right, uh, so let's say. What looks good? That no, looks a bit too. Smooth. That works. Yeah, that's fine. Um, the head looks surprisingly good on this game, by the way. And oh, it even moves around and stuff. That's cool. Um, also, the male's hair is good as well. It's not like boring and crappy. Okay, that that works. What's this other color? I guess that's for extra stuff. Yeah, you can see in the other in the portraits. Yeah, it's for extra things. Okay, that's fine. I'll just do that white for now. This is, this hair doesn't have any extra stuff apparently. Right. So as you can see, you can change the eye angle. So like that. Oh god, she looks drowsy. Right. Um, let's just keep it kind of there. The iris size. The so massive eyes or small eyes, whatever you want. I don't see why you'd really want to edit that. The normal size is fine. Eye size height. That's kind of just how open your eyes are, I suppose. So let's have it like that, that's fine. Brow thickness. I think that's on the side, we're going to have to look to see that. Yeah, that's just kind of how much the uh, forehead goes over, um, or bumps out at the top, or just your eyebrows, which is something like that. Let's go with that. Eyebrow placement. Okay. I, that's pretty self-explanatory, I hope I don't have to explain that. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> right, eyebrow angle. It's mm, fine. Eye size width. Big old eyes. Tiny little Howard Moon eyes. Plus one to anyone who gets that reference. Alright, or well, thumbs up I suppose if it's on YouTube. Normal size is fine by me. Colour of eyes. Yeah, we can settle that stuff. Horrendously bright blue. 
or a greyish blue, that's, that looks good. Nose length. Okay. Oh, I see, it's that one, okay. It's fine in the middle there. Width and base. Oh, sorry, width and bridge. Ah, I see what that is, okay. It's just in the middle there. I think that's fine like that. So as you can see, you get a shitload of options for your character, as well as the preset faces, which help kind of get the idea for the most part of what you want. Um, you know, you can edit, <laughs> have outrageously, stupidly big lips if you really want. Um, <laughs> quite a big mouth. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think you get the idea, really. Chin length. Yeah. Um, head width. That's <laughs> kind of interesting. Head size. Bonk. Small head. Big head. Somewhere like there. Head width. Uh, that's, quite, that's quite interesting. I don't see that a lot in games, actually. Um, you can make her like, oh, well, your character doesn't have to be a female, of course. You can make them basically like have uh, quite a, I suppose, a long head, if you get what I mean. Like that, quite a small. Uh, hard to explain. I think you you get it by the visual, really, more than me talking about it. Anyway, onto the armor dice, and this is really cool because this you can do whenever you want. But at the moment, you know, you can just change it. So let's say. I suppose black kind of suits the engineer quite well. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that, that's fine. That works. Hmm, I think the trousers are fine, actually. Yeah, let's actually go for a brown scheme. That looks much better. Right, okay, that looks good. So yeah, as you can see, you can change all the colours of your set gear at the beginning, and this can be done whenever you want throughout the game. Um, you only have a set amount of colours, but you can get more from, like, um, dye packs and things. I've explained this all in the gem store video. If you need to know more about that, go back and watch that, and go up to the consumable area. Well, don't go up to it. Um, <laughs> skip to the consumable part. Anyway, right. So from here on in you get the um, the role playing kind of options which as you've been told already if you're watching previous videos for Guild Wars, you can skip all that if you really don't want to do it but I'm going to, obviously I want to show you all of character creation so I'm going to show you. Um, my most useful tool is my panoscopic monocle, <laughs> awesome. Um, eagle eye goggles or the universal monocle, tool. right all of these get their own um, they get their own monocle. Yeah, that's definitely a monocle. Okay. Yeah. Um, all of these get their own little description down here. So you know, if you need more than just the base name to decide on what you want, then that's fine. Let's see. Uh, it's got a wrench. It's got a screwdriver. It's got a spade. It's got a lateral display. So ooh, doesn't matter what you need. This pack has a gadget for every situation. Hmm. Oh, okay. Eagle Eye Goggles. Nothing sees the world more clearly than a soaring eagle. These goggles allow its wearer to see just as well. Hmm. Interesting. What about the monocle? The details matter. Whether you're double checking the wiring on your new explosives or changing the gear shaft on your favourite turret, this monocle lets you see what needs to be seen. I don't know what the actual repercussions of these decisions will be, to be honest, because I've never played the engineer. When I was doing my Elementalist, this choice was like fire you know, what was my main attunement, and so far I can't really see much difference in that. But it's kind of nice because you get a bit of an aesthetic change for these guys, like I get the monocle, and monocles are awesome, so I'm going with that. Right, this one's the same for everyone, by the way, uh, charm, dignity, or ferocity. Trouble may follow me, but I use my blah 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 to overcome it. Um, uh, let's, let's see, quite a charmer this one, I, I'm going to guess. I was raised, right, these are the decisions for the humans, now these ones will be completely different for Char and Norn. Um, for Norn, oh god, what is it? 
Um, maybe I'll just go quickly over those in a bit and show you guys those ones. But anyway, yeah, um, I was raised in the streets by common folk or among the nobility, which, okay, um, this will change, like, some of the dialogue within the game um, and your main quest, actually. This will change your main quest. Uh, let's see. Let's just say the streets for now. Okay, one of my biggest regrets is that I passed up the opportunity to perform in the circus. <laughs> really. Um, I never recovered my sister's body, or I've never searched my true parents. Does that change? No. Hmm. Let's say she's a nobility, then. One of my biggest regrets is that I never searched for my true parents, never recovered my sister's body, or I passed up an opportunity, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go with the never recovered sister's body. Right, now this part will affect what your character's story quest is, like that's gonna involve, you know, I never recovered my sister's body that's, you know, gonna be a focus of my story, it's gonna add to it, it's not gonna be the whole story as far as I know, but for me personally that'll be something that starts the story off and I'll be doing things to do with that. This I had this example on my Norn who got pissed out of his mind and basically stole a war cart from Char <laughs> with another Char buddy he'd made while drinking um, and they'd gone around the forest beating up trees because apparently they were insulted by them I don't know all that kind of stu silly nonsense so you can get the idea that the game doesn't take itself too seriously but it does to a certain degree when it needs to be serious it's serious when it can be silly it's silly and it's fun and it's funny which is more important um, but you know dead sister can't see how they're gonna add humor to that one Either way, it's um, kind of nice to have a choice. But yeah, let's go with that one. Um, right, and this is, as far as I can tell, only an option for the humans. You get to choose a god, which is interesting. Don't know what repercussions this has on the game. Everyone said I was blessed by so-and-so when I was young. And you get a description of all the gods, what they stand for, and what they're good at and all that stuff. Um, I think the other human I've got is for Cormir. Um, healing and air and blah blah blah. Alphazar, Melandru, Nature of Growing, can be found in house. What's upon those like me who have the affinity with animals? I'm a follower of Melandru. Lysa wears many masks. She is a dual faced goddess of beauty, water, and illusion. She is the patron of the most attractive and graceful among of her. But yeah, this character is supposed to be like a charming uh, man eater, I suppose. Um, <laughs> so let's go with Lysa. And it's kind of funny that description because Lysa does not look pretty in that picture, but whatever. Right, so um, let's go with that. And then you just get a, basically a general description just going over all of your choices. And by the way, as ever, the whole name thing for Guild Wars is awesome. I can be called like, um, I don't know, um, anything I want really. And it can be as many letters as... It can be three different names as far as I found out. Oh no, four! Okay, you could have four separate names in this. So like, um, I don't know, Jenny Peters Maguire. <laughs> um, I'm not, yeah, I can't even spell that. So, um, yeah, you get a lot of, you get a lot of options with your name and unlike Guild Wars 1 you can just have one name if you want so we just want to call him Jenny I can guarantee that name's taken but whatever um, um, uh, Blondie Blue Eyes <laughs> let's go with that